Hey guys, thanks for joining me. So today I'm just out in my backwoods here and I came across a group of trees that has a number of deer beds in it or around it. I figured I'd share with you, it's kind of cool and they're all within a few steps. So there was one, now there's two. Let's see if I can find them all within a timely manner here. This is where one went potty. And then in here, I found this scrape. The camera's going to pick that up for me, which is fresh. The tracks go right up to it. And then back here, so there's the trail or the tracks. Pretty fresh. Um, back here, I noticed something that I wanted to share with you. Um, I harvested some usnea, and I found what I was looking for, which is very similar, but it is not usnea. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. So this is what is not usnea. And this is a ball of usnea that I had in my pocket. So, my camera is not focusing very well, but you can tell that usnea has a lot finer strands. It's not as dense as the other one. And when you pull the usnea apart, um, excuse me, let me fix my camera angle, I greatly apologize. When you pull the usnea apart, there's a little white strand in the middle kind of almost elastic -y, so that's a telltale sign that you do have the right stuff. So I'm going to put this back in my pocket before it gets snowed on. And um, I just wanted to show you a couple more spots here. So that was from last night before it snowed. But yeah, so this was a great little find. Um, they're all in amongst these trees. You know, and to me, it's not that great a cover, but I guess they think it is. So, I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm on my way to my little fire spot, and I will do another video on that. I'm going to show you a couple more tricks that I have up my sleeve for starting a fire with my fire steel. So, hopefully you will join me.